Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of H3VR So, before I begin this episode properly, just gonna mention that I am, have a bit of a cold Just gonna adjust my headset a bit And so, if you hear any sniffling, coughing or anything like that Sorry But, it's better than it was a few days ago So I figured, it's time to record a video It's almost time to upload the video as well, so Talking about sniffles Anyways Let's begin. So, this is the gun I'm gonna take a look at. A look at. It's a similar gun. You might uh, recognize it somewhere else. And uh, that's because this is. Uh, take some ideas from a gun which came out a few years earlier. So, this is the Browning High Power. It comes with a 13, ma 13 round magazine. It looks like a Colt 1911. Why? Because it's actually designed partially by Browning. It uh, started manufacturing in 35, and the reason it actually came out was uh, because the French they needed a new service pistol. More specifically, one with at least 10 rounds, lethal at 50 meters, and uh, that's this one. Also external hammer and some other bobs and bits. So Browning went to work, and with the help of and now I forget his name. Someone at FN, which is a weapons factory in uh, Belgium, finished this. So this guy finished this because Browning died in 25, I believe, and this one got finished in 35. So the Browning High Power, not only designed by Browning, also FN, and it's the most used gun in history. So, uh, yeah. It's a simple, I believe it's a blowback pistol. Typical slide, they went around somewhere. I did some firing earlier, hence the magazine. External hammer. Magazine like I showed, 13 rounds, let's double check that. One, two, three. Actually, let's double check that in a more fun way. So let's pop this, eject that extra round. And uh, let's see, if I remember correctly, 13 rounds. And you guys also get to see how to shoot. So the sights with this, I think, are a bit worse than the 1911. But that partially comes down to the little... Uh, uh, dar... Um, what's it called? Um, sights for in the dark. Night vision sights, sort of thing. But let's see what I can do with this. There we go, 13 rounds like I said, slide locks on empty magazine, so easy to pop in, down the slide and uh, ready to fire again. So that this is the Browning High Power, one of my favorite guns of history. Is Are there many guns behind it? No, this is definitely one of my favorite guns. The British used it, they actually manufactured it domestically during World War Two, after the Germans, uh, uh, well, captured Belgium, and uh, it's still in use today with some uh, countries, unlike the 1911. So this pistol also has had a long uh, service life. Oh, and before we end the, uh, end the episode, I forgot to mention this, like so many others, uses the nine mm parabellum round, rather popular round even today with. Guns like the M9 and others, and even that thing, which we'll take a look at at another date, use the 9mm parameter. Par oh, I can't speak today, and it's even worse because of my cold. But yes, even today, the 9mm parabellum is being used, and it's quite old. But anyways, beautiful gun, ain't it? The Browning High Power, and I do hope. Oops. I do hope you enjoyed watching this, uh, sorry for the cold, it's almost Wednesday so I have to get this out, well I don't, but I'm feeling better anyways. So I hope you all enjoyed watching, thank you all for watching, leave a like, subscribe, I hope you look forward to the next gun, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!